Welcome back to Yellow Hammer. I'm Connor, and while we've been in the winter time, I like to generally do anything 3D printed. Uh, you can't really do a whole lot out in the weather due to it being, you know, below 30. But today we're going to be working on a emblem for that that I think you'll like, and I'm going to bring you along for the entire journey. Beginning off with here, I've already modeled the majority of the emblem by a hand caliper. And what I'm currently doing now here will be I am making it into a multi part print and it will have a clip on the top and bottom now. And I did that in order to not have to take the bumper off again, in order to put the prong of the emblem through the grill and then put the nut back on it. I do, do believe in a on a later date that I will go ahead and do it the right way, take the bumper off and have it printed in a more effective way to put it that way. But what I'm currently doing here, I am cutting out the hole in the top and bottom to put the clip on to hold the backing plate onto the main part of the emblem. And that proved to be a little problematic to run that all the way through due to how I put that through there but anyway we've got the bottom hole cut out now to keep me a little bit of time and now after I do that we are going to move on to the Brennan. unbearable hours later all right doing a little bit of primer here on the emblem i have printed everything in a different layer that way i can really get the level of detail to paint that i'm looking for and here i am painting what i need to be black and what i need to be chrome and we're going to work on putting everything kind of together after that i've got everything put together and working on letting it dry after gluing it and now here I've got my EL panel that I've cut, although I don't really like doing that for the EL panel, but what can you do? I'm working on getting that perfectly fit in here. I do have acrylic cut out and put over top of kind of the cutout on the eye and around the wording of the emblem. That way I don't have any kind of water or anything get in there that might end the life of the EL panel. You can kind of tell how that will look. And now here, you can kind of tell on the little upper corner of the right and the bottom from the middle, the little 3D printed prong that I made to be able to drill into, that will help, uh, that will be what I mount the emblem into and in here to figure out where I need to mark back the emblem. I am putting paint on that and I will hold the emblem up to it in order to figure out roughly where I need to drill and get that lined up to not look completely off kilter. I've got that marked up where to drill and I'm going to go ahead and drill that and mount it up there. We've got the hole drilled. I'm going to run both of mine through there in order to mount it. Right back to the wiring now. Got the feed wire from the EL panel coming out the back about right there at my finger but toward the middle. Got the wire running up through the behind the honeycomb up underneath the bumper up there will be the inverter and power cable connector to the emblem power cable for hot ground i'll have it tucked up underneath the radiator panel here kind of you want to call it that and for the ground I've got that going in right here to where your headlight would normally be or your uh, air intake would normally be right here in my bed and for the hot line got that into the gray with blue wire and that will be your headlight wire and that'll be the headlight connector I'll give you a brief look here before the final reveal. Right there will be it. 
and right there you have it off overall i'm pretty happy with it but i do think later on that we're going to be doing a kind of v2 of that and the main thing that i'm not happy with i meant to tuck the wire in behind that third hole about right there behind the emblem that way it could be completely hidden you'd never know that it lit up and number two why i did the little cap on the top and bottom here I tried to avoid taking the bumper off. I had kind of mocked everything up to get that going during the tow hook video. And I wanted to avoid having to take the bumper back off after putting that on there and going through all that again. Uh, due to the fact that you do have to take that little panel off right there behind the grill. But when I do it again, I think I'm gonna fully commit and take off the bumper and I'll run a bolt through the back of that back plate right there. And I'll have a nut on the back of it on both of them, top and bottom, to hold it on to the back of the grill. Um, granted, the little 3D printed prong that I printed and then drilled out to put a little bolt in there to hold the back plate. Uh, I mean, you're not gonna rip that off or anything by any means, but that did lead to me having to put the bottom and top cap on where if I had made it the way I would have liked to I could have ran the bolt through there uh, had a hole through the back put that through the grill and before I would have done that I would have been able to drill into the back plate and hide every one of them to join the two together and on top of that I am going to make one with a uh, LED and I'm not a big fan of the EL panel or anything EL related due to the fact that it don't really have the lifetime of a LED and you know you have to the EL panel will run or operate off of 5 volt I have an inverter right there again and then tied into 12 volt 12 volt from that headlight converting into the 5 volt inverter into the EEL panel and I really do like only having to run 12 volt uh, again a lot better lifetime of the light and you know generally not that difficult to get wired up and going but for V1 here again I am very happy with it um, you know it turned out really good other than where I had to clamp it right here it broke the paint off a little bit but I'll probably go back and touch that up a little bit any way I can. And the other thing about LED2, I can wire that up directly to the battery. I don't have to worry about tapping into any 12 volt wire. And with that LED, it'll normally come with a remote and a radio. That way I can, you know, make it blink, make it a different color, you know, whatever have you. You definitely have a lot more adaptability with an LED compared to an EL panel. But again for the final of v1 here you really can't tell until you really get up on it that it had been a printed emblem due to the way that uh painted and primed it and all that but i'll back up here and give you a look at the car with that on you, you really you really can't tell but if you've been around here for any amount of time then you know that I kind of have a thing for making my emblem light up. We did one for my 4x4, for the Camaro, for the, well, not technically the 302, but I did make a LED fog light for that, or halo ring, rather, not the full light. But And now for the 350, we've got that on here. But anyway, I'd like to thank you all for coming by. If you liked what I did, drop the thumb up. If you didn't, drop the thumb down. If you if it <laughs> reminded you of a Honda mod. But anyway, again, thank you all for coming by, and I'll talk to you in another video.